Hi, this is Nancy with Life's Blessings, and today I just want to do a quick flip through of the Harcourt language because that's what I'm going to be using with my son for first grade for the year 2019 2020 homeschool. This is actually a book that is out of press, but I purchased it on eBay. And so there are a few of them still out there on eBay, Amazon, um, some of those websites where you can buy used curriculum. So um, Harcourt actually merged with another publishing company and now they are using a different name. So these, these specific books are out of publish, out of publication, sorry, but um, Harcourt products are still out there, just under a slightly different name. So here's the table of contents, and this is what is inside this book. I'm not going to read each thing, but you can pause the video as you would like so that you may read these individually yourself. <clears throat> I'm gonna go a little slow so you can get a good idea of what's in this book in case you want to use it yourself. It looks like a great curriculum for where my son is with language arts. He is a typical boy that is more interested in math and science than reading and language arts. So um, this is not necessarily advanced, I wouldn't say. This is more on level because he is definitely not behind in any of the subjects, but he is highly advanced in math and science. Language arts, he is about where most of the kids going into first grade would be. However, he is a little younger than most of them. He is actually five years old and he will turn six in August, the end of August. These first few pages are just, um, we have a poem here, and then, let me flip it around so you can see. Draw your school and about your school. The only thing that I, I don't necessarily like is that this is not perforated. I wish this was perforated so he could just pull this out. I know it has, or you can cut it out right there, but who wants to do that, you know? <laughs> really, I would enjoy perforated pages, but hey, it was, it was $7, so you work with what you got. $7 and looks like an awesome curriculum, so I'm not as worried about the pages as what I am, the material inside. And that's just me. <laughs> So very simple, very simple activities at first to ease them into the language arts. This is a writing warm up unit, a picture of me, where I live, my family, where I go to school, parts of the book and sharing with others. So we have another poem here that you can read with your child and then we have the unit starts here. <clears throat> Again, still just getting to know the child, getting to know what he likes, what he doesn't like, where he lives, those kind of things. And I know that this is probably more intended for a school setting, but you know, it's still okay to do these activities in your homeschool because that helps your child 
to find who he is and what he likes. It's not about you necessarily getting to know your child. It is in a way, but you know, most of us could already guess what our kids are going to write on those pages if you spend any time at all with your children. And if you're homeschooling, then I know you do. You could pretty well guess what your kids are actually gonna write on those pages, but maybe they're not sure what they would write, so. And this is helping them to learn what a sentence is that's a little poem about um, the things that he likes to do and that will help prepare them to write their own sentences, which is very important. That's, that's a great way to ease the kid into writing their own sentences. I like to see books before I actually purchase them. And on this one, I didn't really get a chance to do that because it is out of publications. So I did see a couple of sample pages and that was it, but I don't see that anybody is necessarily using this anymore. I think it's just me, honestly. So let me know down in the comments what you're using for your language arts this year. Noodles of noodles. Oh, that's that's teaching rhyming words. What a fun way to do that. The order of sentences, that's very important that the children learn how to correctly write a sentence in what order the nouns and the verbs and all that good stuff. You know, we touched on grammar in kindergarten. I touched on it with him just a little bit, but I didn't necessarily use a curriculum in kindergarten to do that. I actually just focused more on teaching him how to read, and uh, I know that grammar is a part of that for some people. Uh, it is a part of a sentence, obviously, but uh, at, at that age, I'm more focused on phonics at, you know, when they first learn how to read at four or five years old, especially, I am more focused on phonics than I am teaching grammar necessarily, but I do understand that grammar is very important. And actually, a lot of homeschool moms that I have seen here on YouTube don't start grammar until high school as far as an actual grammar curriculum. Now, I know some of the moms actually do Mad Libs and things like that with the kids, games to um, help the kids learn about grammar, but they don't necessarily do curriculum per se, and that's fine, That what, whatever works for your family. Actually, I have said this so many times, kids learn so much more through play during the younger years especially than what they do with anything. So, you know, that's fine. If your kids are learning, that's more important. I'm not here to tell you how to teach your children. That is for each mom individually to decide on her own. I'm just here to provide advice and tips from how I have learned because I am just starting out. We just wrapped up our first year of homeschooling. And, you know, I'm not an expert. I don't claim to be an expert. But I'm just here to help the new moms that, you know, don't know where to start. Or maybe even some of the veteran moms that um, have lost that touch maybe with having fun with school. Maybe you're getting too technical about things or you're getting stressed out and you need to be reminded of those early years of when you just found homeschooling and you know remember your first love with homeschooling this is unit number two and you know that's that's kind of our purpose here that's where the Lord has us right now and later on maybe I can be one of those veteran moms that tell you exactly where I messed up and how I messed up and 
what I would do differently. We can, you know, we could all do that later on, but right now I'm just finding where I am. And sure, I made a lot of mistakes. When I first started last year, I've already started making mistakes and I've already started learning from that. So this is just reminding the child how to form the letters correctly. Oh, that's fun. Make puppets. Act out the poem. A lot of fun activities in this book. So I'm going to start going a little faster. I just want to show you how they eased the child in. That's why I went so slow at first. But now we're kind of about a third of the way into the book. And, you know, it gets a little more difficult, but not, not just real bad. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm talking about language arts, and I'm sure my grammar is not, <laughs> not very perfect at all. I'm a Mississippi girl, for those of you who don't know. And so, yeah, that comes out. <laughs> that comes out in my speech a lot. But actually, language arts was my favorite subject in school. I was not homeschooled. Um, I went to public school, but I actually wanted to be homeschooled. I was, <laughs> I was strange. I was a strange little girl, very shy like my little girl is. And I really did great in school, but I wanted to be homeschooled because, honestly, I didn't like being away from mom and dad so long. I didn't like being around so many other kids, it scared me. Um, I was very shy. <laughs> and just because I was such an introvert whenever I was little, that doesn't mean that I'm trying to necessarily teach my kids to be introverts. My little boy is very much an extrovert. He is not an introvert at all. He loves other kids, and I take them to the park a couple of times a week weather permitting and they really enjoy that so I'm not I'm not hiding my kids out <laughs> by any means you know that's what people think about us that's what people think about the moms at home school that we just don't want our kids around other kids or are that we don't let them socialize and <laughs> all these things that they say about homeschool families so not true we are more outside the house than what we are inside the house, honestly. Contractions, that's very good. Very good. I love that. A weather calendar sounds fun. Clay porcupines. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is going to be fun. Yeah, I'm loving this book already. <laughs> I'm just going through it with y'all. We just got it in the mail today. Just got it in the mail today. I should have done an unboxing, but anyway, next best thing. We just got it in the mail today. My little boy actually got it out of the mail. And he is he is excited. He looked through the book before I even did, and he told me he's ready to get started on it. So that's how the book advances. That's how the material advances. Unit number four, grammar and describing words and writing description. See how they're going to do that. Add a describing word to each sentence. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. So we're adding in adjectives and they just don't even know it. Synonyms. Yeah, this this looks so much fun. I am I am ready to get started already. <laughs> and we don't even start back to school for another four weeks. So, ah, patience, Mama. <laughs> that is one of the fruit of the spirit, right? Patience. Uh, something I struggle with. <laughs> Pronouns. Pronouns there. Um, writing a letter, yeah. And, you know, I was thinking about that just the other day. I was wondering, when are we going to get to write letters? Because I think that would be so much fun for them to write a letter to their memo and you know she would enjoy getting that in the mail and they would enjoy doing that mm. writing dates you know <laughs> that's something funny 
my son, after I taught him to use a calendar, that's all he does now. He wakes up every single morning and he tells me what day it is and he knows everybody's birthday and my little girl does too and she's only four. And I remember back in May when my husband had his birthday, they counted down. They started in April, guys. I'm not kidding. They started in April and they counted down the days as if it was their own birthday. They were so excited. And you know, that's just proof that what I'm doing with my kids is working because there are so many kids that are older than them, seven, eight years old, that are going to public school where I live and we have asked them what their birthday is or, um, you know, shut the door, baby. Um, kids are playing on the porch <laughs> what their birthday is or uh, even what month it is and they're like I don't know let me go ask my mom <laughs> and my kids are standing there well, my birthday is April the 15th my birthday is August the 29th and my mom's birthday is this and my dad's birthday is this <laughs> and my aunt Janet and everybody <laughs> they start telling when everybody's birthday is so this is uh, revising that that's good give them something that's incorrect and then get them to correct it see how that's done very important teaching them to recognize the return address mailing address and how to put that on the envelope yeah so this this really looks like a great curriculum it looks very nice exactly where he's at I would I was concerned of whether or not I got the right grade level for him because you know every curriculum is different and um, they all do things so differently there are some that are more advanced there are some that to me look slightly um, under level and then there are some that are just right there you know and this is just right on level this is just right on level perfect for him you know that's funny that's funny how um, Children can be so different. I can see with my children already. Children are so different about which subjects interest them the most and um, which ones they take to and which ones they don't, which ones they are just, you know, doing because you told them to do or they, they know that they have to. Oh, this will be fun. This is fun. You know, my kids have a... Hispanic heritage, so this is this is fun. The empty pinata. My husband is from Guatemala, so they know all about some pinatas. <laughs> Every party that we have, pinata. <laughs> That's my son here in the background going, "Wow." He's looking at the book with us. Do you like this book, Joel? Yes. So you think it's gonna be something that you enjoy? He's shaking his head. Yes, you can't see him, but he is. <laughs> Proofreading. So just revision again. Publishing. Capitalization. Yeah. All in all, this looks like a wonderful curriculum, and that's that's about the best flip loop. Blech. Excuse me, best flip through that I think you're going to get on this book. We went through that very slowly, and you can fast forward if you want to. Um, should have said that in the beginning of the video, but anyway, it is what it is. Harcourt Language Arts, and this is grade one. Yeah, grade one. Doesn't have it written in there, but it's grade one. And like I said, I. I bid it on it on eBay and got it for seven bucks with shipping and all. So I think that's a great price for a language arts curriculum. We were looking everywhere and the cheapest price other than this that I saw was about $22. So yeah, I got an excellent deal with excellent material and I hope this has helped someone. Um, this was not requested, but I just, wanted to do it because I got so excited that it came in the mail today. This is the first 
first book that has come in the mail and I just got so excited. So I wanted to share it with everyone. Mm -hmm. Thank you for watching. God bless. Have a great day. And if you haven't subscribed yet, then subscribe to our channel and please give us a thumbs up so we'll know that you enjoy the material that we're sending out. And thank you so much to all of our new subscribers. We went from just like eight subscribers to 12 to 20. So thank you so much. Thank you so much for your love and support. May God bless each and every one of you. And I hope you continue to enjoy the material that we're sending out. Happy homeschooling. Bye-bye.